Well, today's the day. We're gonna go get our new Chesapeake Bay Retriever. And we are driving there right now. David, how do you feel? Are you feeling a little anxious? No, not at all. You think the dog's gonna take to us without ever seeing us? It'll take a few moments, but I don't think there'll be a problem. It'll be like that dog on Saturday. Oh, yeah. So we, we were coming out of um, the market at Malcolm Yard, and there was this great big, really beautiful, what kind of retriever was it? It was an English Labrador. Oh, an English Labrador. The guy was massive. Anyway, he was so cute. He kept looking at me, but when he saw David, he started barking. So the lady and gentleman who owned the dog said that he was barking because he wanted to be petted. He just loved David. <laughs> the minute he saw him, it was like, boom, that, there's a dog person. So anyway, we're on our way to pick up, pick up Sophie today. And I've never had a dog of my own ever in my whole life. But I'm really concerned that, you know, we're going to pick her up and take her in a car for six, eight hours. And how is she going to react? Uh, is she going to be nervous? Is she going to feel safe? So I want to make sure before we put her in the car that she feels happy. And I got treats. Treats are always good. Anyway, more to come. Building. We are driving into the driveway of where our new... Puppy's living, so we have to pick yeah, her up now. The, that's where the pen is. Oh, so we think this is the farm. They live out on a farm, actually, so, which is good for a Chesapeake Bay Retriever because they're all about running and being in the water and having a good day. Are you excited, David? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Good. Yeah. Okay. And um, I found three places that are dog friendly when you start taking her with you at places hardware stores, liquor stores, and Home Depot. So David yeah. and Sophie are getting along quite well. I think Sophie's already got an idea. She's got an instinctive vibe that this is going to be the guy that's going to give her all the wonderful food and fun trips to the lake and great experiences. So I think we're actually going to be okay here. Oh, but yeah. Sophie is so hyper that she has peed like 15 times in the last hour. She's just too excited. <laughs> so it's gonna be a long car ride home. Well, this will be an interesting first walk with David and Sophie. They're gonna take a little path here and get to know each other. So now it begins David and Sophie's big adventure. Sophie's going to her new house in Iowa. She's had two pig ears and she's working on her big chew bone. Well, as you can see, Sophie is acclimating to us and we got her home. David's been working with her now for a couple of weeks and I noticed this morning when you went to take her to the lake, she didn't want to get in the car. She was going to the veterinarian. Oh, to the veterinarian. Okay. So she I noticed. Didn't like the noise. I noticed that trucks. she was just like kind of frozen, she was and you. Scared of the trucks. And you had to pick her up and put her in there. Yeah, the trucks and bus. So she had her first meeting with the vet today. How did that go for her? Good. Was she happy to see the other dogs there? Sort of. What did the vet say? 
that she has good hips. Good hips. That's good. That means she can run and jump and bounce. She bounces very high, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> she likes treats. Sophie loves treats. Don't you, Sophie? Yeah. And she likes her bones. And she's really challenged going on a walk with us at night. She gets really afraid of car noises. She gets afraid of anything that she thinks is abnormal, which is just right now about 99% of everything. So she likes to be reassured. And we're getting her used to having her tummy rub. She did. She was so uptight, she couldn't even lay down and have her tummy rub. So, you can see she's coming along pretty good. And she's really good with the squirrels in, in our yard and the rabbits. She hasn't tried to eat them yet. And the moles. But she, yeah, she did go mole hunting, which is okay. I don't mind that. Those are disgusting little creatures. But she doesn't you know, try to attack anybody that comes to the house to work. And she's always happy to see people. But she will run away and she will kind of hide even though she looks fierce. But anyway, we're happy to have her and David is making really good progress. And anything else that you like about Sophie? You think she's beautiful, right? Mm. She's quite beautiful. It's just hard to adjust from Elsa to Sophie because Elsa was so Elsa and Sophie is so, I don't know what. Sophie will be Elsa too. Sophie is just so uh, retreating right now. <laughs> Instead of retrieving, she's retreating. Anyway, she's doing good and she likes to run out in the yard and she likes to play. So that's the most important thing. If you have a new dog and you want to share any tips on how to get them acclimated or what you do to get them calm and happy, be feel free to go ahead and put that in the comments. Thanks David. for watching my YouTube channel. I know you love Chesapeake Bay Retrievers. Why is that? Why do you recommend that as the pet of choice? Chesapeake Bay Retrievers are only the only Native American breed. And they are a good work dog companions forever they're loyal right quite much so yeah and where did they come from did they come from the east coast the story is that a, a ship carrying newfoundlands went aground or sank off the eastern shore of maryland and the dogs swam to shore and established their own breed on the eastern shore of Maryland. Wow. Thus the name Chesapeake Bay Retriever. Very cool.